We went to the beach the other day for our daily exercise um, and while we were there we found this uh, wild spinach which is really cool. Um, we're going to be using this and mixing it with vodka to make a anthotype. So an anthotype is a print that is made using plant material. You mix the plant material with vodka which you can see here. Instead of drinking it we're going to be putting it in with the spinach uh, to release the chlorophyll. So that's really important, uh, the idea that you can harness the natural light sensitive properties of a plant and then mix that to make a emulsion. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and start making that photosensitive emulsion. So actually Luna is going to be helping us to make the types today. So the first thing that we're going to need is a good old jug and we're going to put these uh, spinach leaves inside. So don't be shy. Just shove that in there. We're going to put the vodka in. So we just want to take a little bit from here. What I would usually do is use the cap and then pour that in. And what this does is release the chlorophyll. The vodka makes the uh, photosensitive properties come out. So you want to keep going until it's really mushy. Can you see how that's just like green, amazing slime? That's what you want to go for. So now I have this really good uh, slimy green stuff. I'm going to use a really fine sieve and I'm going to put that directly on top of the jug so you can see how that's set up. I'm just going to put this in bit by bit and what that's going to do is it's going to uh, filter out down into the jug. I don't know if you can see there but there's some really dark green liquid so this is after about five minutes of uh, sieving the wild spinach and what you want to do is use that to start painting on paper. This Fabriano Academia is really good, um, I use it for cyanotypes but I also use it for things like anthotypes and salt printing so if you um, are looking for a paper to get which is really good I really highly recommend this one otherwise watercolour paper works really fab as well. So we're going to take this green liquid and we're going to use a foam brush or any other type of brush to apply the emulsion onto the paper and it's really easy you just get a bit of uh, liquid on your brush and then coat your paper. So what I highly recommend is to make four coats. So you do one coat and let it dry and then you do another coat and let that dry and so on. And then that means that you get a really rich print. Okay, so now we're gonna take the piece of anthotype paper that we made and put it in a frame and leave it there for a couple of days in the sunlight. So I'm gonna use this weed that I found in the garden. I think it's actually from an old strawberry plant. Um, and I'm gonna put that on top of the paper just like this. Then I'm going to get the frame, I'm going to put this face down. Okay, so there is the plant in the frame, which you can see. And we're going to put it over here. So I've made anthotypes before using spinach, um, just bought from a shop and that took about six hours. Because this is a wild spinach and it's actually a seed beet, I'm going to leave it for a little bit longer because I'm not sure how long it will take to expose. So this anthotype has been exposing for about two days already. It's been put in the direct sunlight and we're going to take it out of the frame to see what it looks like underneath. So as you can see, the anthotype has come out really well. Where the sunlight has hit the paper, it's gone a bleached green colour and where the light has been hidden underneath the leaf it has stayed that really strong green colour. So this is about uh, two days of sunlight 
so six hours each day of sunlight so I'm really happy with how that came out brilliant so if you like this channel please subscribe and donate on patreon